Shares of gaming platform Roblox are up this morning, but that follows a more than 20% plunge yesterday. This after the company reported bookings that missed analyst estimates and a wider than expected loss. Losses also grew year over year. Roblox blaming that on, quote, higher levels of expense required to support the growth of the business. Joining us right now in an exclusive interview is Roblox CEO Dave Bazuki. Dave, it's great to see you. I always tell you my sons love the company. We love the company. But as you know, uh, some folks in the markets don't love the company at least as much as they did. And I want to talk about that this morning. Uh, Barron's has a piece with the headline, Roblox stock has lost almost all of its 2023 gains. What's going wrong? So I'm going to put a question mark at the end of that and ask you that question. Andrew, thanks for having me on the show. And I want to highlight, we, we've always talked about building a platform to support and connect a billion people every day with optimism and civility. This quarter, we're continuing well on our way to that. We had 22% bookings growth. We had 24% year-on-year hours growth. And in many of the big cohorts where there's enormous headroom, such as international uh, where we grew 40% in India and over 100% in Japan, and also in older users where we grew 36% uh, for 17 through 24. We really show, if not continuing growth, accelerating growth. So we're growing really well. We're generating cash. And we shared that we're going to continue to show more and more operating leverage uh, in Q3, when we expect to grow faster than our infra expense, and in Q1 of 2024, when we expect to grow faster than our headcount expense. So for us, it was a solid quarter right. on our, really, the direction to our vision. Were you surprised at the reaction by the market? Um, I don't want to, you know, it's hard to predict what, um, you know, how the market works. We have a lot of really you know, great long-term shareholders. And, you know, we're generating cash. We're starting to lay on more and more leverage. Uh, we're going to show and predict to show double-digit EBITDA growth in Q4 and all through 2024. So uh, really, we're running on all cylinders and we're growing in four different directions. What, what is the distinct timeline and path to profitability? I mean, I think underneath all of the questions that investors have is that fundamental question, right? Yeah, and, it, and it's a great question because based on gap accounting rules, we defer over 28 months all of the revenue we make when we sell virtual items on Roblox. It's why... We run the business more on cash, and it's why we can show three billion of cash and continuing to generate cash, even when we show gap losses. So we do in our letters say that's how we run the business, and we continue to grow both our bookings and our cash. How much do you think this is an issue about managing costs uh, and the like versus just where what the growth rate of this company uh, can be? And we were Kelly and I were talking. Uh, probably two hours ago. Ho hopefully you were not awake at that hour because I know you're on the West Coast. Uh, but, you know, one of the things we just talked about was just how during the pandemic, I mean, things were parabolic and, and that things are not as not as parabolic as they were. They're still obviously growing and growing fast. But on a relative basis, m maybe things feel different. I don't know. Yeah, things for us were well beyond the pandemic, thankfully. And our year on year compares right now continue to show strong growth, even in this more normal world, we are going to show more and more leverage over time. We think you know that's going to be appealing to some investors and continue to grow more and more cash. So it may just you know we continue to feel very optimistic about the business. We're we're launching our immersive ad platform, which is really exciting. We'll add growth on the economic side, and we think that's a visionary approach. And we continue to bring in new innovations that are going to make Roblox something we use every day to communicate with friends and loved ones. So we continue to innovate. We continue to do what we do, which is build, you know, great innovative product that brings people together. Um, let me ask you about that. When you say the advertising piece is it looks like it's actually going to going to ramp quickly. So I wanted to speak to that and also the in-app purchase piece. Um, we were talking about, you know, ro Robux and just what, what a big business that has become. 
Yeah, on the on the advertising piece, our, our vision, and we we think it's going to come to play, is that there is going to be a new and there is a new immersive form of advertising, not just images, not just videos, but the ability for you and me and our friends, if we happen to be in Roblox, to go visit a, a brand we love. And that could be a brand like NASCAR, that could be a brand like NARS Cosmetics. And we think going and experiencing a brand together in 3D, whether we try things on, whether we, um, you know, hop in a NASCAR a racing car and drive around, we think that's going to be really something uh, people love with brands. In the early signs, we, we've seen some areas on Roblox where there's more demand than supply for these types of advertising units. And we've seen 19% of the developers on the Roblox platform start to put these ad units in their experiences. These are these are not blocking. They they're not pre-roll. They don't get in our face. They're they're fun things we can do when we're traversing together on Roblox. And on the economy, we continue to see great growth in the Roblox economy. And one of the big innovations we're going to be bringing forward at the end of the year is in addition to clothing and in hats and, and all the other things we wear, our economy is gonna open up to full-on avatars. So we're gonna start having a much wider range of who we can be on the platform. So there's a lot of opportunity for growth there in addition to international and age up and our advertising platform.